What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, we're gonna talk about Backbone. I'm gonna tell you guys five reasons to get this amazing plugin, all right? So let's get started. Okay, the first reason to get this plugin is you are now able to create your own kick sound or snare or cymbal. So basically you can create your own drum samples. So once you get Backbone, you don't have to buy any more drum samples. You can create as many drums sounds that you want. So let me show you guys how to create your own drum sounds. So all you have to do is under this drum GAN, just click on this new button and it's going to create a kick sound. And the reason it creates a kick sound is because you can see this fader is in the kick. So if I move this up, you'll have a different kick sound. And if I move this down, it's a different kind of kick, right? So you can create your own kick, snare, and cymbals, right? And the best part is they have a lot of different kind of sounds. You can actually go to this variation and increase them now you get different kind of kick right you can adjust this and you can bring this to the right and you can also generate new variation yeah sounds good right and if you want to go back to the previous sample you can just click on this undo button so it's going to go back to the previous kick if I like this kick, I don't have to save any presets. All I have to do is just click on this arrow button here and drag and drop to the project window. And by the way, this particular plugin can be used in other DAW as well, right? So now I have this kick sound ready for me. So I can just, you know, make beats with it. I can use it as a sampler track. right so it's be useful so if you want to have your own kick sound and if you can't find the kind of samples that you want for your songs now you can go and create your own kick right so let's try to create snare now so i'm gonna just drag this to the right and, and i've got a snare okay All right Nope. So let's add a little bit of kick. Yeah, I got that body now. Yeah, that's better. Oh, this is so much better. So let's say I want to use this sample. All I have to do is just drag it and drop it in the project. Right. Now let's create a hi hat. Oops. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna go and drag this one to the project window. So now I got three samples generated for me. So now I can have this one. I'm just gonna make a simple pattern now. Uh, yep, this will do. Okay, you hear that right? It's a very simple drum sound. Okay. Cool. So that's the first reason. Okay, moving on to the next reason to get Backbone is now you can create your own sample from the samples that you already have. So let's say I have some drum sounds that I like. Okay, let's see this one, right? So I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna delete this one first. I'm gonna drop it here. Right. I have my own sound here. So they are both the same. Okay, so watch what happens when I click on this analyze button. So when I click on analyze, Backbone created a clap sound, which is similar to the sample that I load it this is the original this is the one generated so 
backbone is able to create the sound that is close to the samples that you played. Let's say you don't like it. Now you can use the variation and just play around with it. Right? This is so cool. If I feel like this sample is too high in frequency, I can I can drop it to backbone and then create a, a variation of this clap. Now let's try to create a kick. Oh. Right. Let's go. Cool. That's cool. I really like that. So what you're doing now is you are creating a sample from another sample. And that's give you a lot of freedom when it, when it comes to, you know, producing a sound. Okay, this will help you with your sound selection because now you can generate as many drum samples from the samples that you already have. Okay, so that's the second reason. Let's move on to the third. For the third reason, I'm going to need a a sample here okay let's say I just want to rip the kick from this sample here right let's solo this so all I need is this one okay I can just cut it like so right if you notice there is a hi-hat sound together with this right um, it's not useful for me now so what I can do I can go to backbone now just drag it uh, let me drag it to let me remove this first drag and drop right so I have this kick with the hi-hat together right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to decompose so, and I'm going to click on this pre-listen. So pre-listen will allow me to choose the noise. So if I solo this noise, okay, these are the noise element of this kick. So I can adjust them if I want to hear more of the noise. Okay, I can use the cutoff, the duration sensitivity okay so this is the noise element right and I'm gonna hear the tonal element this is tonal okay if you notice you don't hear the hi-hat at all I like that so then what you can do is you can apply click on apply and what it does is it creates two sound for you Okay, so now I have one sample with two different sound. Then I can go and manipulate these sound even more. So for instance, let's say I want to cut this part, sample here, and I'll make sure you turn on the uh, snap to zero crossing. Where is that? Yeah, that's on. All right, uh, let me just bring it even more. Okay, and you can go to the amp envelope and then you can adjust them even more. So, let me have it like so. Hmm, that's better. Alright, I like it. Right, so this is the noise that we adjusted now. Okay, maybe I want to pitch it up. Or pitch it down. It depends if I want that. You know what I mean? I think this is good enough. 
So now let's go ahead and adjust the sample, the tonal sample. So I can adjust this one. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. So this is the one that we have created so far. Okay, with this two sample, you can mute them. Or you can just click on this to hear the audio. So let's hear the original. This is the original. And this is what we have right now. And if I like it, of course, I can bounce them and keep it as a drum sample, right? Now you can rip as many drum samples from any of your favorite track or from the drum loop. So this is why Backbone is super awesome, right? And let's move on to the fourth tip. Backbone is so good at sampling. The way you can manipulate your audio sampling in Backbone is phenomenal. You have a lot of options to do that, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So let's go to some melody loops here, okay? Okay, I'm gonna use that sample for now. Delete this. Right, I'm gonna drag and drop to backbone now. So now when I press the C note, I have the sample. Okay, it's too long, so I don't want to use that. Let me cut it first. Maybe I just want to use... Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so I got this sample loaded. Okay, now when you go to decompose, okay, you, you have the option to choose tonal or noise, right? So I'm going to use pre-listen now. Uh, so now the tonal element, sorry, the noise element is high now. This is the noise. Okay, let's adjust the cutoff. Okay, now we have removed the noise. And I'm going to go and hear the tonal okay that's the tonal element let's hear the original right now I can apply I got two different sounds now right and what I can do now is I can drag this one here so now I have just the tonal and uh, this is the original this is the just the tonal and let's export the the noise see that i can actually use the sampler track now to play so basically I've created my own sample right now, right? So let's say you are, you have a, a track arranged. Okay, let me use this example now, right? This one. And let's say you're using this particular sample for for the hook. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate this one. And let's say this is the verse section, right? So I want it to be a bit more chill, right? So let's use the, the tonal element. Right? So you're using the same sample, but a different tone. So that's my fourth reason to get backbone. Let's move on to the fifth and the final one. So I'm going to be using the same sample right now. And I'm going to turn on this recent. So I, if I adjust this, see how it changes the whole sound? Okay, let's adjust the former now. Okay, and what if I mute the noise element?
What if I want to just have the noise element here? So I can adjust the position. Let's just hear this one. Whoa. I like that. So basically, now you have more options to play with. Right. And you can also adjust the pitch here. And there's a pitch envelope. You, bet you can then manipulate from here. Um, you have the filter, amp. And on top of that, let's say you like the sound. Now you can go ahead and add your own effect here. Just click on this button. Let's say I want to add a uh, reverb. Eh? Let's go and add a reverb. Oh, yeah. All the settings of reverb is here, pre delay. Okay, it's nice. Shape. Let's add some distortion, okay. Okay, let's tear you open. No, I don't want panning. Let's remove and change this one. Hmm. Let's see, want a compressor here. Perfect. So the last one, I'm gonna add a limiter. Actually, let's try this frequency shifter. Oh my god, this, the possibility is endless. And on top of that, if you notice, I'm only using the FX2. I can also go to FX1, so which I have even more options to add effects. So FX1, FX2, there's eight effects that you can add in one instance of Backbone. And not only that, if you notice, you can see these, that you can actually add more sounds. You can load even more layers here. So. So that's the fifth reason to get Backbone. And on top of that, I'm going to add another one bonus reason, right? And that is the awesome presets that comes with it. So let's check out the presets that we have here. Um, I'm going to just um, delete the, the stuff that I created just now. And I'm going to load some sample here. Okay. So these are all the presets that we can use. This is mostly for sound design. I'm sorry, I need to turn this off. We can go to cinematic. Let's see. See how great that sound is. So the best thing with the presets is then you can actually go ahead and resynth them. Now you can adjust the position. Performance. Right. So basically you can do uh, even more stuff with the uh, preset, right? So that's my uh, 5 plus 1 reason to get Backbone. So go ahead and get it now, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.